You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host, and today we have another great event that we're going to promote here in the City of Champions. I have with me Amy Coram. Amy, welcome to Greater Brockton. Thank you. Thank you for coming on. Um, Amy, you have had a lifetime of music. I have. Where you've played instruments, all sorts of different instruments. You're a teacher and everything. Mm -hmm. And this is something coming up that's kind of a culmination of that. It's, a, it's it an is. anniversary commemorative. Tell us what you're trying to do. Well, when I was 11, I was in the sixth grade, and I played a piece called The Carnival of the Animals with the Brockton Symphony Orchestra. And it is a two-piano duet piece with orchestra. And the other pianist was a 31 at the time, year old concert pianist and we played this piece and I 50 years later last year started planning to have a, an anniversary performance of this piece I thought it would be fun to do with Reginald Hache who was the original pianist but unfortunately he had uh, a car accident this summer and has some uh, problems with his hand but and could not do the performance with me, but Carol Chafee, another concert pianist, uh, whom I played this piece with three times last year in separate places in Brockton uh, on one piano, is kindly going to play the second piano part at the high school with me. And we are going to uh, celebrate 50 years since the first children concert in Brockton when I played and along with us, we'll have uh, the Brockton High School uh, concert band who will play medleys of Mary Poppins tunes. And we will have the South Junior High Middle School, South Middle School mm -hmm. uh, Jazz Choir who will play um, pieces from Sound of Music because it's the 50th anniversary of the release of those two shows. Well, that sounds exciting. So yeah. we're looking at um, the 6th of March, which right. is uh, Sunday. Sunday, 3 o'clock in the afternoon, which is an established time that Brockton Symphony usually does events. Right. We cover those and go to those events. It's always mm -hmm. a Sunday afternoon. But this is at Brockton High School. At Brockton High School. Because you're looking for a big crowd. Very big. I want to fill the 1,642 seats. Mm -hmm. And that's what we're looking to do, to have every child... Uh, in Brockton that doesn't usually get out to see a concert uh, come to this concert because we've kept the price very low at uh, children under five are free uh, students are five dollars mm -hmm. adults are ten dollars well you can't beat that that's a great price yep. um, we keep things low cost in, in Brockton and you right. have uh, is, is he a conductor a special guest coming well we have a very special guest coming Kenneth Feinberg uh, is coming to uh, narrate the poems that go with the Carnival of the Animals. And he will be alternating the poems with Harry Williams, who is our MC. Oh, yeah. okay. And Harry I, Williams, yeah. the former library director and on the symphony board. Right. So, um, but Ken Feinberg, for those of you that don't know him, Ken Feinberg is a proud Brockton native, doesn't live in Brockton anymore, but comes back for all the big events. Right. He was the, uh, he was a gentleman who dealt with 9-11. He dealt with um, the marathon bombings in terms of giving out money right. to victims of those things. Right. I had the opportunity to interview him. He, we did a program over at Beth mm -hmm. and I went to him, and he was in Boston. He's a busy guy working on all that right. stuff that day, but he has a real soft spot in his he heart does. for he Brockton. He makes time for Brockton. He makes time to come back and do he it. Does. So even though it's low cost, mm -hmm. there's, a, there's a cause for all of this. There are, yes. there are two or three different organizations that this is going to benefit. Right. Tell us who they are. Well, the proceeds from this event will go to the Brockton High uh, uh, Music Department and the Brockton Symphony mm -hmm. Scholarship Fund and the Rotary Scholarship Fund because Rotary is partially a sponsor along with a Cultural Council mm -hmm. sponsorship that I received, a grant. Um, so yeah. how many musicians are going to be involved in this? This sounds like a pretty colossal yeah. undertaking. Well, first, a 75-piece band will uh, play one of the medleys, and then a 
15 member uh, self middle school choir mm -hmm. will sing a medley and then uh, 23 Brockton Symphony members will play the Carnival of the Animals and I will be playing on the Liberace rhinestone piano. Yeah, I heard about that. Yeah. And that piano luckily didn't get damaged no. when they had that roof collapse. Roof collapse. I think it was over in Rockland in or Rockland, someplace like yeah. that. It's um, fine. It was never damaged. Mm -hmm. And it's open for rental. And he gave me a very good price because it was a children's concert. And I, they'll be bringing it on over. And, and I'll have my mother-in-law's candelabra ready to put on it just like Liberace did. <laughs> oh, wow. And no, 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 uh, no mink stall or anything like that. Well, I, mean, I could. I don't know. If I wasn't wants, planning if on If somebody it. wants to help you with that, maybe <laughs> yeah. you can add that to the repertoire. Yeah. But I mean, this sounds really delightful if you think about it. It's, it's, what is it? Everything old is new again. Right. You it's get full a, a, circle. A full circle. Full circle. Um, I saw you've been promoting the heck out yeah. of it on Facebook. Trying. Yeah. And uh, you, you, you had pictures from the scrapbook from yeah. back in the day when you, right. when you did it. Well, to my begin. mother kept everything I ever did as a child because I did these concerts starting when I was eight mm -hmm. and um, I thought it would be interesting to show each week a different piece of memorabilia she showed she saved tickets and articles and uh, everything mm -hmm. that appeared at the time of the concert before Facebook and all that stuff before exactly Facebook. so in terms of getting the tickets how yeah. do people get them well uh, they can get them online Go to the Brockton Symphony website, mm -hmm. and there is a place where you can click to get uh, tickets on eTix. And there's a telephone number that people can call, and somebody will call them back and arrange to get the actual tickets and send them to them. Okay. Yep, yeah, I know the Symphony still believes in you make a call, and you can right. actually talk to somebody or, or leave a, a message person. anyway, yeah. a real person, yeah. and uh, online. Um, so... Um, yeah. I'm assuming, you know, the high school, would, would the high school have some of those tickets too because it's nope. the music department? No, just no, I, I have the tickets. And, and one more thing that's sure. very interesting in the program, the uh, director of art in Brockton, Sarah Richards, is helping me with this. Uh, a friend of mine is bringing a 20-foot screen to put on the stage, mm -hmm. and Sarah has uh, asked her art teachers to have her students draw some pictures and she's collecting them from me and loading them on a CD and we're going to project pictures onto the screen mm. while the music is playing. They're going to be coordinated so animal pictures will be showing during the Carnival of the Animals and Mary Poppins pictures will be showing during that music and so it should be a quite a spectacle. Lots of things to look at. Nobody will be bored at this concert. It certainly sounds like moment. they won't be. So just to recap, I'm going to go over the, the, the date and the place and the time. It's Sunday, March 6th, mm -hmm. 3 o'clock, Brockton High School, the Nelson Auditorium. It's the 50th anniversary children's concert, mm -hmm. and tickets are low cost. We already gave you all the details, all the price. We'll flash the number up on the screen so you can buy the tickets and go to the website and uh, just check out the Facebook as well. Right. Okay. So, Amy, this is wonderful. We're going to help you promote it, and Thank hopefully you. we'll be there and, and show okay. people, but we want you to go. Yes. Correct? We want you to go. Good job. Good job. Thank, Thank you. you. Uh, you're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.